Introduction To many people out there, depression is that another name to those worst days of life which can either make a person to take their life towards end or maybe just learn to survive through tough situations. And for the information, warriors always choose to die rather than going to get their life ended. But the main point in here to take a focus over is that period of depression which many countries had been through during the time of 1930s, i.e. in 20th century. Though it has been said that the starting period of this thing was 1929, but looking over those various facts and figures, it has been confirmed that scheduling of this incident, named as Great Depression, actually was not that same and had different values across different states. According to many of the reports, it has been said that most of the countries had this started during the time of 1929 and continued till the late days of year 1930. This is actually believed to be that longest, most sincere and also the very much extensive period of misery of 20th century. Also, an important point here to make a notice on is that this Great Depression is actually considered as an example today, in this 21st century, about how much far the economy of world can get deteriorated. The phase of Great Depression is believed to get triggered from the region of United States and that is when there was that huge fall experienced in terms of stock prices that took its origin around the date of 4th September in 1929. Now, being not that much normal thing to be ignored, this downfall in stock prices made their place in those headlines which finally made it possible to get word spread it among whole of the world. Also after which a huge crash was experienced in a market dealing with stock, which is about the date of October 29, 1929, also known to people by the name of Black Tuesday. This whole thing resulted into the huge downfall of GDP around all over the world by the rate of 15% in number. In comparison to this, there was also a downfall in GDP experienced during the year of 2008 to 2009, counting in 1% among whole of the world, which was way less than what countries experienced during the year of 1929 to 1930. There were also some of the countries which started recovering in the middle of the year 1930. In contrast to this, there were also some of those which did not get to see any kind of positive results until the time of that giant conflict of World War II, which took place in the year of 1939. Everyone knows that what any downfall in the economy can result into and same did with this case. This incident of Great Depression had those really shocking and bad effects among all of those countries, no matter whether it is rich or poor. Nothing was as normal as it used to be sometimes before. There was that huge drop noticed in everything. Individual income, tariff revenue, earnings and prices, just everything. And among all of this, the international trade was seen taking a plunge by a rate of nothing less than 50%. This brought over that giant rise to the graph of unemployment in different countries, such as looking over the US, it was 25%, and on the other side, for some other nations, it was 33% though it was pretty clear that cities and nations all over the world were getting this hit really hard, but the one which was highly dependent on industries were just topping the list. This whole of the incident also resulted into many of the activities like construction and everything take a halt in many parts of the world. All those farming groups and many of the rural areas also got to suffer really badly during this whole thing, as this led to huge fall in the prices of crops that can be counted as about 60%. Basically, there was that huge area included which faced that huge loss because of the Great Depression period, especially the one linked with primary sectors such as mining and logging are the one at top of list. Chapter 1. Triggering Great Depression the tragedy was not that small to be ignored by anyone on earth, and so which made many of the people, including historians, to find the starting point of this thing. As a result of which, what many of the historians related to economy found is that this Great Depression actually triggered out of that sudden downfall in the prices of stock market on October 29, 1929, which was also known to people all over the world by the name of Black Tuesday. 
On the other hand, there are also some of them who clearly clash this assumption by others and rather consider this crash in the stock market as one of the symptoms and not the causes of this tragedy of Great Depression. Among many of the areas of different nations, there was that wave of optimism, even after that crash of Wall Street, which took place during the time of 1929. According to the statement given by John D. Rockefeller, it is being said that those were actually the days when most of them were dispirited. There were many of those depressions noticed in 93 years of his life, and at the end, the only thing he noticed is that fortune returned, no matter what, and so he was quite positive about the results of that Great Depression. On the basis of many of those reports which talks about this Great Depression and results, it has been said that those positive outcomes in stock market were finally get to seen during the time of early 1930, which made its original return as it was around the beginning of 1929, happened by the end of April. But whole of the graph was still not going good, as according to the count, this was still waving at the rate of 30% which was too much less than that on September 1929. There were, though, many of those steps taken forward by the government and also many of the corporations, such as during that first half of 1930, they spent so much more in rate than what it was previous year in 1929. And in the other side of the coin, many of those consumers who suffered a lot out of this whole thing of Great Depression in 1929 finally made their expenses get down at the rate of 10%. In addition to that, during the time of opening around those mid of 1930s, really bad deficiencies made whole of the farming heartland in the area of US get damaged. Also this time of middle of 1930s, there was that huge drop experienced in the interest rates, but that expected level of depression and also the ongoing unwillingness of people to plagiarize was making it already clear that those people who were spending and talking speculation were miserable at a real higher level. By the time of May in 1930, sales of automobiles got deteriorated to even beneath the ranks that were noted in the year of 1928. So basically, all of the prices in common originated to drop, while salaries held stable during the time of year 1930. After that, in the year of 1931, deflation twist got triggered. In addition to it, more of the worst conditions were noticed in the areas of farming, where prices of the product took a huge drop, adding those different areas of mining and logging too in the same condition, which also brought up that rise in the graph of unemployment, making all of the opportunities and jobs for people take an end. This huge drop in the economy of the US economy made many of the countries at first take a huge downfall in their economy too, and then depending upon their own interior flaws or strong points in each of the country made their circumstances either go worse or maybe better. Desperate efforts were made in order to make a rise in those economies of different separate states by applying those protectionist strategies, such as the one named as 1930 US. Smooth Hawley Tariff Act and reciprocal rates in other nations made it get worsened to lead to the failure in whole of the universal profession. Now, by the last of 1930s, a stable failure in whole of the economy of the world made its place, which did not though made it to bottom line until the date of 1933. Chapter 2 Causes of Great Depression Well, everyone knows that there is nothing on this earth which can take place without any cause behind it, and so was the case with this tragedy. But what was that cause which made all this happen, which made all of those different nations, and in fact whole of the world, suffer with such bad conditions? So, according to the information that is being discussed by now, this tragedy of Great Depression took place during the time of 1929 to 1930, which made many of the different nations take a huge downfall. Though the conditions were quite good in late of 1930s among different nations, but there still were some who suffered for a really long time and thus got relieved at somewhere in the beginning of World War II. Talking over looking for the reasons behind same, there were many of those discussions and debates made by the economists all over the world so as to bring the reason out. This debate actually became the part of that huge on which used to discuss those huge crises in terms of economy. There were many of those events related to economy which took place in order to discuss the tragedy of Great Depression and its causes now can be seen as pretty well established. 
It was that initial crash in that stock market which gave that panic sell-off of possessions the huge start. Also after that, there was that huge deprecation in strength and product prices noticed, which also brought on that dramatic kind of falls in demand and recognition and distraction of employment, eventually that led to bring out the result of extensive joblessness and also the failure. According to many of the graphs, it has been noticed that around 13 million people at that time were unemployed and remained the same by the year in 1932. Nevertheless, none of those different economists and historians still was not able to make it up to reach an agreement which was based on those contributory relationships between different events and also those policies made by the economic government in producing or perfecting the depression. Looking over for the reason behind this depression, there were many of those theories brought out which can now be looked upon and also these conventional theories can now be generally categorized into two basic points of view, also to which there are many of those unorthodox clarifications. Out of all of those normal opinions and concepts, the very first to look upon are the demand-driven theories which were introduced by many of those Keynesian and institutional economists according to whom this Great Depression was actually caused because of availability of confidence in really less amount and that too among whole of the world that had finally resulted to this incident of underconsumption. Also, these theories, named as demand-driven theories, are into that thing of arguing that those economic crises that were followed by the stock market crash during the year of 1929 made it up to the rapid and determined drop in consumption and asset spending. And once those moments of fear and depression were seen taking a moment of drop, most of those citizens assumed that they can now escape additional damages by keeping clear of the marketplaces. This process, an idea of holding money within, though made profit results out and consequently led to the dropping of prices and that money which was provided to them now could be used to buy some more stuff and also more goods, worsening the fall in demand. On the other hand, the second ones are actually named as the monetarists, according to whom this whole tragedy of Great Depression took a trigger up just like any other normal collapse, but due to some of the important policy mistakes made by financial establishments, the main in which can be called here is Federal Reserve, caused that huge shrink in the process of getting money supplied, which at most worsened whole of the economic situation, that resulted into this period of collapse to take a shape of that tragedy everyone knows by the name of the Great Depression. The most common list of people who can be linked to this explanation are actually those who make a focus on responsibility depression, causing those who plagiarize to give more of the amount in those real terms. In addition to these, there are also some of those heterodox theories which conflict statements of both of the Keynesian and monetarists. There are those new in the list of traditional macroeconomists who came up with the point in argument related to same according to whom the major cause of this Great Depression tragedy was nothing but a process in which many of those policies related to labour market got forced at the very starting point of whole of the thing. It has been said that one of the schools, also known to people by the Austrian School of Economics, emphasis on those macroeconomic possessions which are a result of money resource and also about how those various decisions related to central banking can also be the main reason behind malinvestment. Marxian economists are also the one of those different economists available out there who look over this tragedy of Great Depression combining all those different economic disasters as an indication of the classism and also the variability intrinsic in the entrepreneurial model. Chapter 3 Worsening Conditions in Great Depression as whole of this tragedy which made its starting from the year of 1929 was after every other second taking economy down and down which made many of the people suffer out of it. Also after some of the time, the conditions were noticed getting worsened and more worsened. According to many of the reports, it has been said that it was the gold stock which was considered as that prime mechanism behind whole of the transmission thing in this tragedy of Great Depression. And not just that, 
also the countries who did not get to confront any bank failures yet and also didn't face any kind of reduction in the form of finances at first place were made compulsory to get into and become the part of that deflationary policy and that is all because depending upon the interest rates in different rates the one with high one were the part of this process of performing this policy of deflationary according to which after accepting up they bring on that gold outflow in those nations who are having minor interest rates in comparison to them. Also, while all this was getting into the action, also known by the name of gold values price specie flow process, nations which were on the hit list of losing gold, but nonetheless were desired to uphold the stock of this gold, had to take an action of permitting their currency supply to the level of getting a reduction and also the level of native price to weakening, also known as declining. Also, in addition to that, there was also that agreement brought out according to which many of those protective guidelines, such as the one named as Smoot Hawley Tariff Act, was all in there to give help in depression worsening conditions. Gold Standard According to many of those studies related to finance made it, it is being said that just like this thing of recession was separated all over the world by the inflexibilities made in the stock of gold, it was dangling the convertibility or gold, which can also be here said as devaluating the change in those gold expressions that bring on the most of those results to make whole of the retrieval probable. Also during this period of Great Depression, it is said that whole of the major and foremost currency was out of the stock of gold and the first one of all of the nations was actually the Great Britain who suffered from the same. Facing all those hypothetical outbreaks on the batter and reducing reserves of gold during the time of September in 1931, the Bank of England stopped the process of exchanging the currency of pounds for any of the gold and also it resulted into getting whole of the pound get drifted among those foreign exchange markets. Out of all of the countries, it was Great Britain, Japan and also those other Scandinavian nations who left their stock of gold standard during the year of 1931. And on the other hand, the other nations named as Italy and also the US suffered there only under the stock of gold during the time of 1932 or 1933. When many of other countries in that so-called gold bloc, which was controlled by the nation of France and also involving Poland, Belgium and Switzerland, continued on the customary until the time of 1935 to 1936. On the basis of those different analyses made later on, the quickness and also the easiness with which the stock of gold was being abandoned by the country made people believe that this step is going to bring the recovery in economic conditions. There are also some of the examples which shows about how different countries got the recovery from this tragedy done according to which it was at first the countries named as Great Britain and Scandinavia who decided to leave the stocks of gold at very first place during the time of 1931, improved very much quick than those other countries like France and Belgium, which continued there on the stock of gold for really much lengthier. On the other side, the nations like China, which were holding that silver stock within, nearly escaped whole of the tragedy of depression completely. Whole of this linking in mid of separating the stock of gold as a solid forecaster of that country's brutality of its misery and also the amount of time of whole of the recovery seen has been exposed to be reliable for lots of nations, including also those which were on the developing mode. This partially clarifies about why the understanding and measurement of the this period of misery varied between all of those different nationwide economies. Breakdown of International Trade According to many of those economists, it is being said that a shrill failure in worldwide trade after the year of 1930 made this condition of tragedy of depression getting more and more worsened, specifically for the nations which were considerably reliant on those foreign methods of employment. Also at the other side, there are some of the other historians and economists in the list who partially considered American Smooth Hawley Tariff Act, which was endorsed during the time of June 17, 1930, as that major reason behind making all of those conditions getting worsened, and that too, by completely dropping the rate of international trade and thus resulting into producing reciprocal charges in many of those different countries. 
Now, as this foreign employment was actually being considered as that very much minor part of whole of the activity related to economy in the area of US, and was focused over those many of the production fields, such as farming can be included here, although it was really that good and great part on those other nations. The normal rate of responsibilities on dutable introductions for the time period of 1921 to 1925 was counted in the range of 25.9%, but looking over the new price list gave some other records which shows about this rate jumping to the count of 50% during the period of 1931 to 1935. Looking over those dollar footings, it has been said that exports from the nation of America weakened at most the number of four long years, which made whole of the trade got dropped from around $5.2 billion during the year of 1929 to $1.7 billion during the period of 1933. So, which led to not only dropping of that physical volume of spreads, but besides the charges demolished by the graph of 123, as noted in the reports. Among all of the field and communities, the toughest hit was on those farm merchandises, among which are including those wheat, cotton, tobacco, and also the lumber. Also, according to one of the famous economists named as Paul Krugman, this is nothing but the process of isolationism, which led to this tragedy of the Great Depression happened, or if not that cause of tragedy, then this surely is the reason which made weakening in manufacture inferior. He also in his explanation mentions some of the report which was settled up by Barry Eichengreen and also the Douglas Irwin, and thus came up with a statement on the basis of which those improved charges prohibited craft from recovering, and that too even when whole of the production thing got improved. And looking over the report, it has been noticed that figure one in their talks about profession and manufacture falling together from the time period of 1929 to 1932, but the rate at which creation was making its way more faster and faster than other profession from the year of 1932 to 1937. Also, many of the writers claim that devotion to the stock of gold forced many of the different nations to take a route to charges, when as an alternative these nations must have undervalued their exchanges. German Banking Crisis of 1931 and British Crisis as whole of this tragedy was on its way to make people suffer more and more, this thing of financial crisis made its way to get out of control somewhere near the mid of the year of 1931, which took its initiation with a huge collapse of that credit unstalled in the nation of Vienna during the time of May. This also resulted in putting that high-degree burden on the nation of Germany, which was already suffering in that chaos brought up due to those political problems. Also, with that rising level of fierceness due to those different movements named as Nazi and Communist, following which was also the depositor anxiety at tough monetary policies which were being brought up by the government. As all of the confidence was seen spiralling down towards the lane, investors started withdrawing their short-range currency from the nation of Germany, the one which was already in pain. It was a Reichsbank who missed its 150 million marks during the very first week of month of June, moving over to around 540 million in a second, and then around 150 million in two days that is being counted as June 19th and also the 20th. So basically, what one can conclude here is that at that time of period, the failure was on the hand. Chapter 4. Period of Recovery now, as this tragedy of Great Depression was in long walk and making people get affected by the same which made their life nothing but a live hell, so as very problem at some time comes up to an end, and thus is the case with this thing. Among many of the different countries which have been the victim of this tragedy of great downfall in finance market, it is during the year of 1933 when this mode of recovery actually took a trigger up. Talking about the crisis in the area of the US, which is actually believed to be the beginning part of whole of the thing, recovery here started during the time of early 1933. But this recovery there did not make it possible for this nation to get that GMP which they used to have during the time of 1929 for a very long time, like about a decade, and thus, which made that rate of unemployment still lying there, it is said that during the time of 1933, this rate of unemployment in US was 20 
25%, which, however, took its way downwards in upcoming years, and thus, in 1940, it was finally only left to the rate of 15%. It is being said that whole of the concept of measuring the rate of unemployment at that period of time was completely inexperienced and also quite complex, and that is majorly because of the existence of enormous amount of underemployment, which made many of the managers and workers get involved in this process of allotting of jobs. There is not any kind of agreement among any of the economists concerning the intention force for the U.S. financial growth that sustained over most of those Roosevelt years, and also including the recession period during the time of 1937, which made whole of this thing to get interjected. Most of that mutual opinion among many of those economists, which were the part of policies that got introduced via Roosevelt's New Deal that resulted into either causing or giving acceleration to that process of recovery, though his rules were never too much violent to convey the budget totally out of that period of recession. Also, there were some of the economists who brought people's consideration towards the good and optimistic effects from those beliefs which were linked to expansion and increasing insignificant interest proportions that were signified by the words and actions made by Roosevelt. The whole thing was now actually getting considered as the rollback of those similar strategies linked with reflationary which led to get whole of the recession interrupted during the time of 1937. One of those subsidizing policies which made this process of expansion take a reverse back was known by the name of the Banking Act, which took place during the year of 1935 and efficiently elevated the bar of backup necessities, resulting into producing a financial reduction which turned out to be helpful in preventing the recovery. It was during the year of 1938 when GDP was seen returning to its upward tendency and thus everything started getting into those normal conditions. It is being said that according to the concept of Christina Roma, the growth in the process of supply of money was because of the giant worldwide gold arrivals that was considered as that major basis of getting whole of the economy in the nation of United States getting recovered and that there was also that sign which showed economy as self-correction. The major reason behind the gold arrivals was partially the reduction of the economy of United States and also partially due to worsening of those political circumstances in the area of Europe. Discussing the same in their book, named as A Monetary History of the United States, which was written by Milton Friedman and Anna J. Schwartz, they accredited the retrieval to financial issues and resisted that the major reason behind this slowing down was actually the poor organization of currency by the Federal Reserve System. Also, this was being approved by the previous chairman of the same Federal Reserve System, according to which it was those monetary influences that brought over their important characters, both in the process of declination of worldwide economy and also the process of ultimate recovery. In addition to that, there were also some of the other institutional factors, which are their very major role according to Bernick, and that is the transformation and rearrangement of whole of the financial system, which at last managed to point out that this tragedy of Great Depression must be observed under an international viewpoint. Chapter 5 Women and Household in Row no one can really survive without money, whether it is about someone who is having a job or maybe someone who is sitting there at the home to make things happen properly. And so this tragedy of financial crisis not only turned out to be bad for the people related to business, but also those women who were being housewives responsible for taking care of their homes, and so due to not that continuous flow of family income, everything for them became so much harder, resulting into no proper trade with food or any dressing or even any kind of medical care. Not only this, it is also being said that during this time of financial crisis, there was that huge fall noticed in the ration of birth rates, as families decided to postpone any kind of family planning for till the time everything gets normal and the normal financial cycle starts the process. Looking over the ration of birth rate for 14 major nations, it has been noticed that this rate of births in countries fell by the rate of 12%, in which it got reduced from 19.3 births per thousand populace during the year of 1930 to 17.0 during the year of 1935. 
While in some states the families were planning to not to have any child for some time, at the same time in the nation of Canada, half of those Roman Catholic womenfolk confronted the teachings of church and thus used contraception to postpone any birth. Also among those few womenfolk which were working into the employment industry, redundancies was not that easy and common in these white-collar occupations, and so they were naturally most of the time found to be into some light developing work. Although there was that extensive demand to bind each and every family to the rule of one paid job, according to which women of home may get her job lost as if her husband is already doing the one. All over the Britain, there was an inclination for every married woman to get into the employment thing, especially the ones who asks for the part-time workers. On the other side, in those different rural and small-town kinds of areas, women were working hard on expanding their procedure of settling those vegetable gardens so that which can make it easy for them to have as much food production in it as possible. There were also many of the lessons given in the areas of United States in which many of the programs were being sponsored with the help of agricultural administrations so as to teach every housewife about how to get their gardens augmented and also about how to increase poultry for the constant coming of meat and eggs. There were many of those different steps being taken by almost everyone at different places, in different cities, in different countries so as to make that phase of survival easy. There, in those American capitals, African-American women quilt makers made their activities take an extension with the process of promoting the mode of partnership and also worked together in training many of those neophytes. Quilts were being produced for some practical needs and that too using those different low-priced ingredients and also the augmented social collaboration for women and thus endorsed friendship and individual satisfaction. And in addition to this, there are also many of those different things lying in the history which are more than enough as evidence about how women made their best to survive through this time and also took care of their family too. Also, many of them brought over those different strategies which they used to notice their mother using as while living in those four families in their childhood. This time was not less than a black year for people who belonged to the countries where this tragedy took place, as it also made people to buy those cheap food stuff, which included soups, beans and noodles. After all, it's all about food at the end. They were too much in bad condition that while looking over for the piece of meat, they either used to go for the cheapest one or maybe at sometimes just make it work with horse meat, reprocessing the roast on Sunday into snacks and soups. Looking over the other things, it has been said that also these women made their way by the process of sewing and patching clothes, which were imported with their fellow citizens for any of the expanded items and also anyhow survived with those cold homes only. There were not any kind of new plans made, buying a new furniture or a plans was nowhere to be seen in the list of things to do, as they were being postponed till the day comes when it can all be done without any stress. Also, there were many of those women who survived by working outside the home or took occupants or maybe by doing the laundry for some goods or cash and also some of them did stitching for their fellow citizens in exchange for anything they can offer them. Lengthy families managed by using common service that included extra food, spare rooms, repair work, cash loans so that which can turn out to be of help to their friends and also the in-laws.